Hello everyone, it is that time of the year again. It is time for Advent of Code. Yes. I'm just super excited to get started on that. Uh, we've got 25 challenges that are going to be released from today to the 1st of December 2021 to 25th of December 2021. And I'm going to publish, I'm going to both explain what I'm doing in this video and I'm going to publish the code on this repository. I will share the link in the description. Let's just dive right in the first one. So, first of all, I I've did a quick read on that. I don't want to dive in the story. If you want to read the story, just go on the, uh, on the website yourself. What's important is to always take this input. That's the first rule. And I have set up a little bit of code here, doing very, something very simple, just reading this file here, um, splitting on a new line that we have like each line is uh, a value of the array. We make sure we filter only the line that have something. Because when I save here, maybe there's like a new line at the bottom or something like that. We just want to filter this out. And here we want to uh, pass, make each of these, instead of a string, we want to make this a uh, number. If we console log lines, and we run this, uh, this is day one, the JS. We get an array of integers, that's perfect. What we need to do now is we need to compare the current number, the current number with the previous one. And if it is bigger than the previous one, we need to do something about it. The thing is, we need to know if this is strictly bigger or more or equal. You know what? We'll see that later. So now we just need a for loop, basically. And if we want to compare two numbers, we just have to store two numbers. So that's what we're going to do now. Uh, we're just going to do, we're just going to use the little tool that's in VS Code, which is the editor I'm using. So lines that land here. Here, uh, what, do we want to, oh, what do we want to put here? We want to check uh, last equal lines of i minus 1 const current equals line of i. Now what we need to do is we need to start not on the first element because it has no previous measurements but on the second value. Then we need to say if is it increased? Okay, if current is bigger than last then uh, increased plus plus. And we're just gonna Actually, create a variable here. Let increase equal zero, and we can log this information here. Uh, I'm using prettier, by the way, to make the code look nice when I save. So we got seven. Let's look here. There are seven measurements that are larger than the previous measurements. We are good. There might be some edge cases that are not in this example and that are in the full puzzle. But I think because this is the first day, it should be fairly simple. So now I'm replacing here uh, the default output by the bigger output. As you can see, there is like a, an empty line at the end. So that's why we have this line to just remove the empty line so that it doesn't bother us. And now we have this number. So this number is just my number. You might have a totally different number and that's fine. So here I paste the number and this is good for the first part because there is a second part. There is part two. Okay, so part two was a bit scary with the A, B, C, D, but it is not that complex. Um, basically now, instead of comparing one number with the previous one, we need to compare the sum of three numbers with the sum of the three previous numbers, kind of. So we could make something, some code quite complex, 
for that. I think we're just gonna take that and make it slightly, slightly different. So here we just really reuse the code now. And instead of starting at position one, we want to start at position four. So instead of starting here, one, two, three, sorry. We want to start at position three. And the last, and this is where I feel we're gonna make something a bit simple, but minus one, minus two, and minus three. And here, we start at three, three minus three is zero. So we get the first element of the array. It's just, just always good to recompute the values yourself because you might, you know, like get minus one or one. It's always good. Um, so here we need to make sure we have the same variable number here, here, and there. We have i minus one, minus two, minus three, i, i minus y, and minus two. And I think we should be good. I'm gonna just do that right away. We have a different number than the previous one. I think this is it. Thank you very much for today, for watching the video until the end. I'm gonna be doing this, uh, I'm gonna try to do that regularly. <laughs> so don't hesitate to subscribe, like, comment, Thank you very much and see you in the next one. Bye bye.